In this video, we're going to focus on adding a remove text button where we can empty out the value here. Basically, the value of emptying out is very, very consistent with adding text. The only thing what we really do is we will empty the variable from what is in here to blank. And that makes it instantly disappear. So let's look here right now. Let's add up a new item in here so we have here our id that's fine we'll maintain that but we have to add up a new button so i'll just say a button type equals button and in here we say on click and then on click we'll have the new function we say remove text function and make sure you use the parentheses which i forgot in the previous video so make sure you keep it. all right we close that and then we say empty text. That's very simple. And then we say again, we're closing button. All right. So we got that now. Let's save this. And we should see now a second button here. Of course, it does not work yet. So we have this. And let's start to work on our new function. And our function, this one will be very, very easy. So we say function. And then we say remove no space remove text function all right and then in here curly brackets and in the curly brackets we'll say variable and the variable is still the add text at least or you can do anything else you can even say variable no text yes so remember we had here like a thing we had to show you two ways to do it. And now we're just going to do the, the more efficient way because this is basically not necessary. You can have the variable in here. All right. So we just say here blank, nothing else. We just leave it blank. And then we say document dot get element by ID. And in here, what is the ID element? Well, the element of the ID is named add text. Add text dot inner HTML equals, and then we say very simple here. Well, we can use the variable here. We say no text. Very simple. And now let's save this and see what happens. Let's refresh. We have the add text here, and then no text here. As you can see, this works perfectly and these two are also matching. All right, so we have this now, but of course now it's the next thing, which is really something that we should do as well, is because it does not make any sense to have an add text here if you already click on this. So we should remove this one once we click on this, and we should only show the empty text when there is any variable shown because there's nothing to empty right now. So this should be gone here. When we start with it, then you only have an add text. And once you click on this, the add text will be gone and the empty text should be shown. Very simple, it makes sense. So what we're going to do is, in the next video, we're going to work on doing exactly that.